Welcome back everyone to NQIS Steve. On the bench in front of us here is an OSD. Yes, OSDs. Almost not the flavour of the month. But anyway, this looks like it's a clone. These are made for the HS1177 cameras, okay, or the 190s. And the little plug is above up here and you plug into this little plug and you have you cut your cable that usually goes off to your camera and you would put it straight into there and then you would come out of this side here and you would carry on to your VTX. So straight away feeding your voltage to your camera if you're going to do it that way you've got to have 5 volt. You can't be supplying 12 or 14 from your 3 or four cell battery or even a two cell battery to a camera. Lots of cameras take between five and 20 volt. So make sure, remember back, what have I hooked up my camera with? Because just don't go and splice it and whack it in and you find out you're running a 12 volt system, this will be dead. Okay, and you won't even get to start. So make sure that it is powered by five volt. Now, in my case, this was going to go on the back of the HS117 clone camera I got from Banggood, which has been a good camera. And on the back of it, I was installing the OSD. But like I was saying, in my case, you, in the Martian, if you've seen the Martian videos, and I'll put a thing above, I went the no Beck route with the, uh, the Martian. I went, okay, I've got a camera that can take 22 volts got a flight controller that can take 17 volts. I've got a VTX that can take 22 volts. You know, bugger it. I'm just putting the battery to the flight controller. No OSDs. Fed 5 volts to, my, to the S-Bus um, receiver, my, my X4R that I've got on the Martian 3, and off you went. Okay, so now you're going to say, all right, Bugger that, Steve. Now you've got to put a 5 volt back on. Well, we're getting 5 volt. We can easily run an OSD off the flight controller's regulator. So instead of taking 5 volt to here and then to the camera, I'm going to leave the camera and the VTX alone and I'm just going to cut the signal wire. And I'm going to place the signal wire into video in straight out of the camera out of video out straight to the VTX. Ah, but how are we giving it 5 volt? Okay, well down the bottom on these you're going to have to do some connections anyway. So if you want to run this through beta flight 3 and above and you want to just use the OSD on here bonus because you're just going to take TX and RX to a TX and RX, remembering to swap them, of say UART1 or UART2 or UART3, however you want to do it. Feed it 5 volts and ground on this side of the board, because this is the side that actually powers the unit. Of course it passes through to here, but we're not worried about that because we're just taking signal in and signal out. All right, and we're going to pick up our UART on here so that we can see the minimum OSD GUI via the serial pass-through in Betaflight. Okay, so that's a whole other video. We're going to do that video and we'll talk our way through that and we'll have a look at the connections that I do on this board at the time. But I'm going to pick up a 5 volt. I'm going to pick up the ground off the F4 back of the F4 and I'm going to take the TX and RX more than likely to UART3 because I'm using UART1 I'm going to take it to UART3 okay and then that way I should be able to just write serial pass through and that'll be the using a 2 in the code because remembering that it starts from 0 so when you're on UART3 you're really going to use serial bypass 2 
All right, but we'll get to that in another bit. I just thought I would show you that new little board I've got for one of the Fox tier or um, Swift or one of those name brand HS1177 cameras or one of the clones from Banggood. Stick it to the back of your board. They supply a couple of little screws that you can screw, take the screws out the back of the back plate, put this on the back of the back plate. There is nothing on the back except the pin out. So if they're plastic cases, why not put a little bit of black tape on here, electrical tape, trim it to size, then you won't see it before you screw it back. Okay. Okay, everybody, welcome back. This is the back of the F4 board that I'm running on the Martian 3. And I've just got the camera down nice and close for us because here where I'm coming in with my little paint brush end, you can see lead strip 5 volt ground. Well, that 5 volt is fed off the regulator which feeds this board's power. Um, just down here on the third row of pins down, you can see VBAT and ground. Well, that VBAT and ground is where you connect power to the flight controller. All right, so just above that, the very top is where we're going to pick up our power for the OSD. And then here on the left-hand side row of pins that you can see marked down here, we've got TX3 and RX3. That's where I'll be connecting the OSD to. So our grouping of wires from the OSD is coming to that part of the board. I've just sent my camera for a wobble, everybody. Sorry about that. All right, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. See you on the next one. Please subscribe, like, or share. All right, give us a thumbs up. See you on the next one.